I've been asked by a few people to pimp your new Edge TX radio, be it the TX15, be it the TX16, the Jumper T15, or any other colour touchscreen radio. This is how we're going to do it. This is what it's going to look like. Let's first of all head over to the PC and we'll get this thing going. Now, the first thing we're going to do is just head over here to the PC. A lot of you guys, when I've done the photography tutorials, have said, OK, that's great, but that's Lightroom or Photoshop and that costs each month to subscribe to. And that's true. It's a business tool. So the alternative to that is we're going to use a free tool today and it's called GIMP. Everybody needs a little bit of a GIMP in their life. So head over to GIMP.org forward slash downloads and you come to this page. My advice is if you click on this one, download GIMP directly, it will then just start your download up here. Now I've already got it installed, so I'm just going to cancel that. That's the easiest and quickest way to download it. Once you've downloaded it, you're going to need to install it. And once you've got it installed, we'll get it open like this. And once the program loads, this is what you're going to be greeted with. This PC is running really slow. I've just noticed, actually, we need to activate Windows, so that's probably why. Um, what we need to do, first of all, is find the image that we've downloaded by clicking on Open. You can just drag and drop it in as well if you want. But uh, this is how we will find what we're looking for. And I am looking for Logo. Double click on it to open it up. And here is the aforementioned logo now. So what we need to do now is we need to resize this image to the resolution that is based upon this screen. And that's going to be 480 by 320 pixels. So if we go up to the top here and we go to Image and then we scroll down to Scale Image, we're going to want to scale it to pixels, which is what it's set to. But we just need to uncheck this link marker in this box here. And then what we need to do is set it to 480 by 320. And then hit scale. And there is our image. All we then need to do is go to file. Export as. And for the splash screen, we need to change this to splash.png, all in lowercase. And then I'm going to save it to my desktop. And that's going to tell me now that I've already got something on my desktop by this name. Do I want to replace it? And I'm going to say yes, just to show you the whole process of actually installing it into the radio. Once you've pressed yes and blah, 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 this will come up and you just hit ex export. And that's it. It's done. It's saved it. I'm just going to see if I've got a different picture on my phone to change the background. So we've now downloaded another image and you do want to keep your images pretty uniform for the color and stuff, but this is just for a demo. So first of all, we're going to go to file and we're going to go to open and I've downloaded it to the PC. So if I just go to my downloads, it should then be at the very top or maybe at the bottom, depending on how this is set yet. And then click open. And it's exactly the same process, minus one different thing. First thing we need to do is go to image, scale image, and again, change it to 480 by 320. Leave it set to the desktop, and then we need to change it to background.png. So the other one was splash.png. This is background.png. Hit save, or hit export, sorry. Uh, on mine, it's going to tell me I've already got one there, and it'll tell you you've got one there if you want to change it, because you need to name them this. Hit export. A little bar will go across the bottom, and that easy, you have done it. All you now need to do is plug in your radio, and I'll show you exactly where you need to put them. So first of all, turn your radio on. Then plug it into the top here. And then you can see you've got three options, USB joystick, USB storage, or serial. Select USB storage, and then on your PC, this will pop up. Now, if I then press Windows and E for a second window, I can now see the background and the splash screen that I've just created on my desktop. And I'm going to need to put these somewhere in here. So first thing we do is we go to images. Now in images, we're going to replace the splash screen. So if we go back to the desktop here, 
get hold of the splash and drop it in. It's going to ask you, do you want to replace it? Because you'll already have one in there called that. And you're going to say yes. The next one you're going to go to is, again, just go back so you're in this screen. And you're going to go to Themes. And you're going to go to Edge TX. And again, in here, you can see you've got background and you've got logo. So we're going to grab hold of our background. And we're going to drop it in. And we'll know this has worked because obviously we've just changed it, haven't we? We did have the um, Deep Space Seeker 3. We've now got the Dolly Fly. So if I unplug that, and you can now see that's changed that image. What I would actually do is I'd make that a bit narrower and a bit less tall, just so it fits on a bit better. But that's that's a great picture. That looks really nice. It almost looks like it's a live view. We're not quite done with pimping your radio just yet. So go into back into USB storage. Now I'm going to link in the description down below a link to my Discord. In my Discord, there is a channel that's got all these voice prompts on it. And you can log on to my Discord, you can download these voice prompts, and if you want to leave, you can leave. No hard feelings. Won't cost you a penny. Okay. Let's find them in here, because I forgot where they was the other day. So these are all of the voice prompts I recorded on our live stream. Now, I already have them on this radio, but you won't. So this is how you install them. Again, you go back to this screen that pops up and if you can't find this screen all you do is go to my pc and you look for something that says usb drive and there it is the folder you go into next is going to be sounds and you're going to go into en for english and you've downloaded all these from my discord copy them all in some have the same names so some will give you a prompt do you want to overwrite them obviously like i say i've got them all in the, here I'm just going to overwrite them because they're already in here anyway. And that's it. You've successfully downloaded for free and installed the voice prompts that were recorded on the stream last month it was now. If you want to get any different voice prompts, if you want me to record any different ones with, with specific words or whatever, just let me know. I'm more... Press MDL on your controller and then go to the special functions screen. Scroll down to... I'm going to go to the pre-arm one. And you'll get this screen asking you what you want to trigger it. Press whatever you want and then press the button. Then go to this one and press play track, not play um, sound, it's play track. Go into here in your value and find whatever it is that you want it to be. And obviously we've got, we've got pre-arm, so... Now, you can delete some of these if you don't want them as well. Uh, the standard ones all are ours. Is that? So, you've got a couple in there that you can select as your pre-arm. Just make sure you press enable here, and then that's it. It's done. It, it's, it literally... Literally is as simple as that. If you've got any requests or any questions, please do drop them in the comments down below. But until next time, Legends, have an amazing time and thank you all so, so much for the support that you've given the channel up to now. Let's get to 100k. Peace out. YouTube and I have had a chat and we believe that this is the video that you'll like the most. So watch it and let me know if they're right.